Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Mr. Adams and this is my fourth video in my series on Photopea Basics. Photopea is a fantastic free alternative to Photoshop and is what we will be using in my classes to develop our graphic design skills. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, cut out the background from a photo, a simple photo, using something called the magic wand. The magic wand. And we're going to get started here. I have two tabs open. I have my photopea.com and then I have my google.com uh, tab open. Before I begin, I'm going to go ahead and find an image that I want to cut out the background from. So I'm going to go to Google. And for your assignment, you're going to uh, search up your favorite candy. Your favorite candy. I want to go Skittles. Okay. Really important here. We're going to be saving this as a PNG because... Again, we want our backgrounds to be transparent. We're cutting these images out of the background. So the easiest thing to do is going to be to search for an image that is a PNG. So type in the name of your favorite candy and then follow that with the letters PNG and hit enter. Then go to the images tab and find an image that has a blank background that you would like to use. A white background a black background or checkered background really interesting is the checkered background we're going to be talking about that in a little bit the checkered background i'm going to use let's see i'm going to use this one this pink one here so go ahead and click on your image and really important here as well as give it a second to load maybe that's not a good one too okay i'll use this one Right click on your image and hit open image and new tab so you can get the full size of the photo. Remember that the bigger the photo, the better the DPI, the better the resolution. Go ahead and save the image somewhere that you're going to be able to find it easily. Hit save. Once you have your photo selected, go back to your Photopea tab. And unlike before, unlike when we uh, did new project, we're going to do open from computer this time. So click open from computer and find the image you are interested in removing the background. Okay, so mine was Skittles 1. There it is. Skittles 1. Okay. And now we have opened up in Photopea our uh, favorite candy with the, with the white background. Okay. The first thing to do if you're trying to remove the background is to look at your layers here. Some images will open up without it being locked, but some will open up being locked. So if you want, if you see that lock button there, go ahead and just click on it and remove it to unlock your background. Uh, Photopea assumes sometimes that you want your background to be locked because when the layer is locked, nothing can be done to it. It can't be edited, it can't be, nothing can be touched to it. So, or done to it. So make sure your uh, background is unlocked again. If it's the lock icon is there. It is locked, so you want to remove that, unlock it by just clicking it. Okay. Now, the magic wand tool is very simple and very easy to use, and you're only going to be using it when you have a clear uh, difference in color between the graphic that you're cutting out and your background. Meaning, I have a white background here, and if I had any white that went to the border of my graphic, it would not be useful to use my um, magnetic wand tool because as you're going to see in a second the magnetic magnetic wand, wand tool will, uh, will pick up the white background and any shades of white that are close to it so it does work by detecting color differences so if your graphic has any white or shades of white that's towards the edge of the graphic you're not going to want to use the magic wand you're going to want to use the magnetic lasso, which is going to be in our next video. So feel free if you think the graphic that you've selected is not going to work from the magic wand, or as we're going through, you'll notice that it's not going to work. You can go ahead and leave this video and go to the magnetic lasso video, which is video, the next video in this series, and you'll find more use there. Okay, so once you have your image open and it's unlocked, you're going to go to your toolbar on the left-hand side, and you're going to actually go to the third tool down. It's the object selection tool, and you're going to click and hold. Click and hold, and a new window is going to pop open, a new uh, menu. And the very last option here, magic wand, is the one we're going to select. So go ahead and select it. Boop. Okay. 
Then, to remove your background, you simply hover over the white area of your image and click it. You'll notice all these dashed lines pop up. That means that is the area that has been selected. Okay. So, to remove your uh, background, this white background, to make your image transparent, you simply click delete on your keyboard. On your keyboard, hit the button delete. Boom. And now you see that the white background changed to this checkered design. This checkered design is the universal pattern that signals that there is a transparent background. When there's nothing there, it's this checkered design. Think of the checkered design as a void of nothingness. Think of this checkered design as a void of nothingness. It's just like my heart. Okay, my heart is a void of nothingness. So if, if you were looking at my heart on Photopea, it would be nothing but a uh, this checkered background. Okay, so a checkered background means that it is empty, transparent, which is exactly what we want. Exactly what we want. Okay, um, so simply click off to the side with your magic wand to make your selection lines disappear, and now you, that's it. You remove the background, congratulations, and now we're going to save our image. We're going to save our image as a PNG file. Just like the other video, you're going to go to File, Export as PNG. PNG is the only file format that will allow your image to be transparent. If you save it as anything else, the transparent parts of this graphic will be filled in with white. And we don't want that. We want it to be transparent. We want it to be empty. All we want to have is our graphic, our Skittles, our, our wild berry Skittles, which are delicious, by the way. So, the Safer Web window pops up. Just ignore these settings and hit Save. And again, it does auto-download. I'm going to hit Show in Folder and move my graphic to an area that I can find it easily. Two pictures. All right. And bam, you have successfully... Remove the background of a simple graphic uh, using this tutorial. So congratulations, awesome. And if you're one of my students, you're going to go and submit that assignment on Canvas ASAP. All right, guys. Our next video will be a little bit more complicated version of removing backgrounds using something called the magnetic lasso. Yes, the magnetic lasso. All right, guys. See you later. Adios.